सर आई वुड लाइक टू मैं देर आर हंड्रेड रीजन फॉर हंड्रेड एक्सक्यूज आई वुड से फॉर नॉट डूइंग एनी थिंग बट देर इज ओनली वन रीजन टू डू समथिंग दैट इज दैट यू शुड हैव डेडिकेशन टू रीच टूवर्ड्स योर गोल एंड इफ यू आर डेडिकेटेड टूवर्ड्स योर गोल नथिंग विल बी एबल टू स्टॉप यू फ्रॉम फ्रॉम रीचिंग दैट सो सर दैट आई वुड से स्टे डेडिकेटेड मेक योर टारगेट्स एंड नेवर try to whatever time you have if you have less time then you will have to manage in within that why waste time uh, trying to repent over things ki this has gone wrong for me this has gone wrong for me instead try to uh, uh, invest that time in uh, reading about uh, the examination so that you are able to succeed hi everyone my name is anuj jindal welcome to my channel today i have divyanshu divedi with me he has cleared nawad grade 8 2021 examination and uh, a very inspiring story in front of me right here so please be patient aur inki story puri suniyega bahut maza aayega bahut acha inspiration aapko milega bahut sari cheeze bhi clarity uh, aapko iske is interview ke through aur divyanshu ke through mil jayegi so first of all welcome divyanshu and congratulations on clearing the exam thank you sir thank you स्टार्ट uh, करते हैं पहले मैं दिव्यांशु का थोड़ा सा एक इंट्रोडक्शन uh, दे देता हूँ सो देट यू हैव एन आइडिया कि हम किस डायरेक्शन में जाने वाले हैं किस तरह से दिव्यांशु ने प्रिपरेशन करी सो दिव्यांशु कंप्लीटेड हिज बीटेक इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फ्रॉम मदन मोहन मालविया इंस्टीट्यूट विच इज इन गोरखपुर इन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन उसके बाद इमीडिएटली आफ्टर दैट विद इन शॉर्ट स्पैन ऑफ टाइम सिक्स मंथ सेवन मंथ्स उन्होंने ही ज्वाइन टी सी एस इन दर ट्वेंटी एटीन इन जनवरी he worked there for a while and after that he joined new india assurance in 2019 he has been working there only unhone koi apni naukri nahi chhodi hai and uh, he got selected in 2021 in nabard examination and now he is due to join nabard as well so uh, divyanshu thoda sa apne bare mein bataiye ki how did you prepare for these competitive examinations along with your job because that is a very important point working aspirants ke liye so as i as you have already told that i graduated in 2017 so whatever time span was there between uh, my graduation and my joining thesis so i prepared for bank po exams during that tenure and sir i got a and i was able to clear mains but somehow i was not able to clear interview but during that period i got a realization that i'll be able to carry on with my preparation in my job also with my job also because all the things which were required to clear that examination basic concepts and all that were very clear to me so sir in 2018 after that i joined tcs so when i joined tcs so i used to take out time uh, during my office days and i used to utilize my weekends very well so that i do not miss out on my targets i used to set up weekly targets and i used to make sure that i am able to complete those uh, targets so when, when i went to tcs so whenever sir a notification used to come i used to start uh, giving mocks from that day only so say from that day to the prelims examination date i'll give exams for prelims and so the moment i used to give that prelims exam i used to get an idea that i'll be able to clear it and then next after that next day i used to start writing mocks for mains and reading up for the current affairs so so the for the current affairs portion sir i had referred to affairs cloud and for uh, uh, quant lr and english i used to rely on mocks because as i already told you between 2017 to 18 i had already done my preparation very well then sir uh, in 2019 i was able to uh, clear some bank po examinations like canara bank po prathama bank i got in regional rural banks and finally sir i ended up joining new india assurance company limited as an administrative officer so the moment result for new india assurance came i had uh, set another goal in my mind another milestone which i need to achieve and that was clearing Uh, that was attempting the RBI Grade B exams and NABARD Grade A exams, and I was fortunate enough that I was able to clear this time NABARD Grade A 2021, and which was my second attempt at NABARD. Uh, so, Devyanshu, coming back a little bit to your preparation days, बहुत सारे students का. In fact, I would not be wrong if I say it. More than ninety percent of students have this problem or this idea that uh, job के साथ prepare नहीं हो रहा है. Even when you Uh, are able to leave your office premises by 6 pm aapke dimag mein kuch na kuch excuses rehte hain i want to call them excuses because they are yes, so 
हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम दैट चैलेंज कि यार अब थक गए हैं अब पढ़ाई नहीं हो पाएगी या फिर एग्जाम आ गया है तो या तो छुट्टी ले लो छुट्टी नहीं मिल रही है तो वीकेंड पुश करो अपने अच्छे से हाउ डिड यू मेक श्योर की आप कंसिस्टेंटली कर पाओ सर एक्चुअली सर इन इन बोथ ऑफ माई जॉब इन टीचर एंड न्यू इंडिया देर वॉज वन थिंग दे वॉज सर्टन थिंग्स विच आई डेंट यूज टू लाइक एंड सर दो थिंग्स दे वर द मेन मोटिवेटिंग फैक्टर फॉर मी टू क्लियर दैट एग्जाम सर द मोमेंट सर आई and the other thing is time management so you need to manage your time well you will have to uh, cut out yourself from uh, you will have to compromise on your social life it's not that ki uh, you can manage your preparation because you have very less time left after office hours so sir only thing that worked out for me is that there were certain things which i was not liking about my job so that were the main motivating factor for me and other is the dedication to uh, reach towards a higher goal towards a, to get a uh, good job that uh, motivated me to keep on preparing for the examinations to isme how did you make sure ki bhai main roz aake raat ko pad raha hu ya fir weekly targets let's say you have created a weekly target for yourself but wo achieve nahi hua ab kya kare to wahan pe kaise sir actually what i used to do say i have set a target to so, sir from monday to friday uh, i used to make sure that ki i am able to leave office on time but sir only way you can leave your office on time that you'll have to work very hard during your office hours so that you don't have any pendency left because there shouldn't be a reason for your senior to stop you from leaving office at time so that mm-hmm. i used to, first thing that i used to make sure is that ki i reach my office on time and during my office hours i used to uh, i never used to leave any stone unturned to complete my work i used to get my work done within the office hours and i'll leave and then there was a set pattern ki It's say if I have reached my home at six thirty, then I'll have to start studying at seven thirty, and then from seven thirty to say because I used to study late till night, so one two I'll I'll study and then again I'll go to sleep and this will keep on going. But somehow, sir, say this thing used to happen on Monday to Friday. Say now Friday I used to uh, check what are the things that have been completed and which are left, and sir, accordingly I used to make my plans for my Saturday and Sunday. तो सैटरडे एंड संडे एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम कि इफ यू हैव सेट 100% ऑफ द टारगेट इवन इफ यू आर एबल टू अचीव 90 95% देन आई यूज्ड टू बी हैप्पी बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ लिमिट टू देयर इज अ लिमिट टू एवरीथिंग सो दैट तो आई यूज्ड टू बी हैप्पी कि ओके आई हैव कंप्लीटेड 90% ऑफ द टारगेट रेस्ट से सर इफ सम हॉलिडे इज देयर तो देन दैट 10% कैन बी मैनेज्ड तो बट आई यूज्ड टू मेक श्योर दैट आई स्टडी डेली एंड नेवर ट्राई टू I used to study. I study daily. That's all. So uh, weekly targets. Me, uh, do you do 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 you did you used to make some daily targets for yourself? I mean, a calendar was there. How did you manage all of that, or did you use an Excel? Uh, so what I used to do is that he say the NABARD grade A examination. So I used firstly what I did. I went through the syllabus of the examination. So now one thing uh, that everyone has to prepare is current affairs, and the other thing is. Uh, schemes. So, sir, what I used to keep, say that notification has not come. Even before that, you can prepare your current affairs and schemes, na. So, schemes I used to uh, keep on preparing. Say uh, every month I used to revise the scheme once. So, because and once you are done with two three revisions, na, you will be able to. Uh, मतलब now once you are done with two three revisions, then after that it gets easy for you. कि you will see the scheme and you will get the uh, get an idea कि okay what are the things that I have to read then, sir. first time when i read the schemes i read it from vision ias second time when i read the schemes i supplemented it with vikaspedia and after that third time i made my own notes because if you make your notes in the very first reading then your notes will always be incomplete so mm. after two three readings then i made my own notes and after that sir schemes portion went very easy for uh, went easy for me and this time i was fortunate enough that lot of questions were asked from schemes and i didn't face any problem in answering them then same goes for current affairs so current affairs i used to follow affairs cloud so affairs cloud so sir what i used to do i used to do affairs cloud weekly pdf say weekly pdf i have completed for one one week week then after that at the end of the month i study pdf comes so now i used to read that study pdf i have done that study pdf is done so now my main portion is also prepared because it gives a comprehensive idea about each and every current affairs that is mentioned in the weekly pdf and then sir i used to supplement it with vision ias also so that ki i i should not miss out on any important news because it's that ki one source cannot cover each and everything but i think affairs cloud is a source which covers 
95 percent of the news and anything if it is left that is important from the examination perspective i'll get it in vision is so that's how i used to get it done then sir for the static portion esi static and ard static so i strictly followed the syllabus i took out topics from the syllabus like inflation is there in the syllabus unemployment is there so i'll take out inflation i i read that topic from two sources one was some Sri Ram IAS notes, economy notes I referred to, and other was the Ramesh Singh. And after that, I made my own notes because sir, I never used to make my notes in the very first reading. Firstly, I used to read it from one or two sources so that the topic gets clear to me. And after that, I used to go for making notes so that the third time when I read, then I don't have to look out for anything. My notes will be sufficient for me. So that's how I have, uh, that's how I used to set my targets, topic wise targets I used to set. He say in first three days I will come. I'll be completing inflation, then unemployment, then I'll be completing agricultural marketing, food processing. That's how I used to do. And sir, for schemes also, I divided them into ministries. He say from Nabad point of view, Ministry of Rural Development is important. So firstly, I used to make sure that I get done with Ministry of Rural Development, then agriculture and farm welfare, then animal husbandry, tribal affairs. So that's how I used to set my targets. <clears throat> Beautiful. I think. Uh, that you used to have short, short targets for yourself. Mm-hmm. Those short runs, uh, I think uh, probably you got it from TCS because tech companies work in that kind of a environment. Jaha, jo sh- short runs bolte hai unko, wo short runs use karte hai, das din ke ya ek hafte ke targets bana ke. So I think that's something that ingrained, got ingrained in your personality. Beautiful. I think bahut achhi ek approach hai and I think all the working aspirants should use it. एक और चीज जो आपने बताई बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है वो है कि नोट्स कब बनाने हैं तो आई थिंक सेकंड रीडिंग थर्ड रीडिंग के बाद जो नोट्स बनाए हैं दैट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल स्ट्रेटजी दैट मस्ट हैव वर्क्ड वंडर्स इन योर प्रिपरेशन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट डिस्क्रिप्टिव बिकॉज़ यू वांटेड टू टॉक सेपरेटली अबाउट डिस्क्रिप्टिव फॉर फेज 2 व्हाट वाज योर अप्रोच हाउ डिड यू प्रिपेयर फॉर बोथ इंग्लिश एज़ वेल एज़ आंसर राइटिंग सर आई I'll go uh, firstly, sir. I'll be telling you about uh, what I did for ESI and ARD, and after that, we'll move to English. So, for economic and social issues and agriculture and rural development, I told you I took out the syllabus. I segregated uh, whatever there in the what whatever topics were there in the syllabus. I segregated them. Say now, sir, agricultural marketing is there. So, what I did, I made my fodder material on agricultural marketing. Ki what are the things that I should know about agriculture marketing so that I can write a good answer. Say what are what is agriculture marketing? What are the challenges? What the government has done, and uh, if the challenges are met, how would the future look like? So these are the things which one should uh, one requires to write an answer. And so now, for uh, if you want to see the government initiatives, they are the schemes used to help me because I as I was very well prepared with the schemes. I never has to look never have to look out for. Things ki okay, what are the initiatives that the government has taken for agriculture marketing? Because that I already knew. So, mm-hmm. sir, I used to write them on a copy. Mm-hmm. Next day, what I'll do, I'll I'll do agriculture marketing, UPSC previous year questions. So, list of questions used to come that have been asked in the past related to agriculture marketing. Mm-hmm. I used to write two, three answers that to one word so that I can uh, keep on uh, improving my speed also. Because the speed and accuracy that you need to maintain uh, while typing. So that's how I used to say I have written two, three answers on agriculture marketing. Now that agriculture and marketing topic is fully prepared for me. I won't have to look back for it. And as I have written the answers on my own, so sir, even if I revise, even if I'm not able to revise that topic, then also in the examination, if it comes, I'll be able to write because I already have an idea. And so with this, and I, and so I used to make sure that right from uh, the date, the this result for a prelims were declared. And till the mains examination date, I uh, made sure to write two answers daily, one in the morning and other in the evening. So, sir, at the when the mains examination was about to happen, before that, sir, I had written around 40, 45 answers. So, sir, uh, that thing helped me. It made uh, gave me a broad perspective to look at things. Ki even if something uh, comes in the examination whose answer I have not written, then also I had such a broad, broad, uh, broad perspective toward, uh, toward things that I was able to write that answer. That helped me in writing that answer for cross reading because I only knew the definition for cross reading, but I had a set pattern of writing answers. Ki firstly, the introduction will be there. Then I'll be coming to the topic. I told about the topic, then the challenges, then how it has been overcome. So that I made a, this thing pattern in which I'll be writing my answers. So that also helped me for answering that specific question. And sir, whatever 
करंट अफेयर्स दैट आई यूज टू फाइंड विच वर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम डिस्क्रिप्टिव परस्पेक्टिव दे आर ऑल्सो आई यूज टू मेक नोट से सर बैड बैंक वॉज देयर इन न्यूज एट दैट टाइम तो सर आई रेड अबाउट बैड बैंक आई मेड माई नोट एंड सर नेक्स्ट डे आई वेंट टू द दृष्टि आई एस वेबसाइट एंड देव मीन आंसर राइटिंग क्वेश्चन तो वन क्वेश्चन वॉज देयर ऑन बैड बैंक तो आई जस्ट practice that answer so now my bad bank topic was prepared and as i have written the answer on my own so i need not look at my notes again also if i want to revise i can revise it from that uh, word file that i have created so that's how i did it for descriptive similarly sir esi also i took out the topics say agriculture extension is there so sir agriculture extension what does it mean what are the things that are included i made a note out of it and then sir practice one question related to it so that's how i did amazing amazing <coughs> जो तुमने अभी मुझे बताया है कि मैंने मॉडल आंसर्स क्रिएट किए एंड आई यूज माय नॉलेज ऑफ स्कीम्स इन दैट आंसर इनफैक्ट टुडे ओनली वी वर डिस्कसिंग विद सम अदर पीपल एंड दिस वी टर्म्ड इट टर्म्ड इट एज कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ नॉलेज सो द आइडिया इज बेसिकली आपने दो जगह से नॉलेज ली उसको अटैच करके जो उस पर इंटरेस्ट लग रहा है उसको कंपाउंड कर दिया सो यू इंक्रीज योर मार्क्स by integrating two different things that you studied uh, so bahut hi achhi ek uh, approach hai that i think you have followed model answers uh, jo aapne bola hai model answers ke bare mein i think beautiful uh, i have been telling all the students that if you don't create your own model answers nobody can uh, help you clear the exams so what you have done is wonderful sop in answer writing you have what you uh, basically created is a standard operating procedure in answer writing yes sir that increases your speed that increases your accuracy beautiful approach loved it uh, let's move to english now yes so for english sir actually for english to i have not done any special preparation with respect to because actually sir i was practicing two questions daily and sir essays that we see in nawad so they are only related to that field only agriculture and rural development yes so i was already uh, practicing a lot of questions so sir i didn't do anything for essays and sir i Uh, i i belong to icsc board so sir we have already practiced a lot of pressy and letter writing so sir for the english i didn't do any special preparation but uh, i made sure that i uh, practice two three letters before the exam so that i may not forget the format and all because over confidence can lead to destruction sometimes so that's why sir in order to uh, prevent myself from getting over confident about something so i practiced two three letters and two three pressies before the examination that's only i did about english but i think uh, yes i think you practiced in answer writing and that helped you in english to aisa nahi hai ki english essay writing nahi karni hai if you are doing answer writing to skip kar sakte ho but uh, aisa nahi hai ki pura hi skip kar diya uh, because sir i have already written around 40 to 50 uh, answers uh, before the mains examination so i was confident that i'll be able to uh, write the essays well in hmm. the examination wonderful 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 uh, interview ki thodi si baat karte hain because i I I have this feeling that your interview might have been very interesting. So, if you can throw some light on the kinds of questions that were asked, yes, which sir. direction did they take you? Uh, sir, interview. Uh, sir, if I tell you about the interview, then the sir, the chair, uh, the chairman of the panel. So he asked firstly asked to introduce myself. So I introduced myself. So I told him that I have worked with TCS and currently I am working with New India Assurance Company Limited. So the next question that he asked me that uh, okay, I. i am not, not able to get an idea you are not but uh, you keep on switching jobs so how should i trust you so i told him ki i always keep on looking for better opportunities and after joining nawal i'll try to grow within the organization so then he next question he asked me ki okay if you get a opportunity better than nawal would you leave so sir at that time so i told him ki you know sir i'll be sticking to nawal and uh, trying to experience i'll try to experience the variety of uh, uh, domains which uh, the organization offers then sir next question he asked me ki do you have any relevance to ruler in uh, ruler area so sir i answered him yes because everyone has relevance to ruler area but sir then he asked me how frequently do you visit so sir at that time uh, what i did ki i told him ki sir i don't visit my village very much because anyway sir i am not able to get time out of my job then he asked me the reason for it so i told him the reason ki i am not able to get time for my job uh, from my job and whatever time i used to Uh, uh get i i try to spend it my with my parents who are in lucknow so he said that he was satisfied with the answer and he himself said that's why you visit your village less then sir the next question he asked me about my strength and why should i hire you he asked me this question so that i had already prepared it 
so whatever the answer was there i gave it to him then the next uh, now the this thing interview moved to the that lady uh, member so he she asked me about uh, uh, the financials of nabad so that was all, also something which i had prepared so with very uh, in a very confident manner i told her about the financials of nabad each and everything then the so next thing she asked me ki how are uh, where are the funds of nabad utilized so i told her about uh, rural infrastructure development fund nabad infrastructure development assistance fund and tribal development fund then she asked me ki uh, which uh, which one do you like then sir at that time though this was something ki she is giving me a chance to answer whatever i have uh, read for the exam so sir i told her about nabad infrastructure development assistance fund and tribal development fund so after that uh, then she said ki uh, now it's over move to the interview move to the next member but sir at that time what i felt ki the lady is not interested i matlab i thought that ki she might not be interested because she is not asking me counter questions but i said that okay let the interview complete because now anything is not in my hand only thing which i can do is to answer now sir it moved to the third member so he started asking me questions about insurance so the first question that he asked me role of uh, an award in insurance sector so sir one thing uh, matlab sir nabad had a very uh, meager role to play in pmfby Uh, so technical advisory committee and grievance redressal committee has members uh, of pmfby has members from nabad so this thing was asked to me a day before a day before sir one clarity sir he took my mock interview and he asked me the same thing i didn't knew the answer but i asked him ki what are the things so he told he told me a little about it but after that sir what i did i opened the policy document of pmfby and uh, read the entire document then sir i got to know ki these are the functions of nabad and that is the thing which i need to answer then sir next question he asked me ki what is the implementation agency of pmfby i told him ki department of agriculture and farmer welfare but he wanted to know about the name of the insurance scheme then sir later i told him about the agriculture insurance company then sir the next question that he asked me ki what is the role of nabad in agriculture insurance company so it is one of the promoters i told him 35% share is there then sir next question he asked me about kisan credit card Uh, where uh, where the kisan credit card is used so i told her uh, three four uh, areas where the kisan credit card can be used but sir next question i was not able to answer how the quantum of loan is decided in kcc first issue so, sir i gave a wrong answer then he correct he tried to correct me but i very politely told him ki sir i am not sure about the answer so whatever he he tried to tell me also ki okay th- that's how we decided so sir i also nodded my head and after that sir the chairman of the interview panel he asked me ki do you have any questions for us so i thought that it might not be correct uh, to ask any questions from the interviewer because as they are very senior to us so i uh, i told him ki no sir i don't have any questions for you then he wished me happy holi and after that my interview was over i think a beautiful interview uh, I-, i have a question for you <laughs> yes, uh, according to your interview it was a very good mix of technical questions plus hr questions how yes, much sir. weightage would you give based on your experience to hr questions in whatever marks you might have received and to technical questions actually sir uh, the hr questions they were they only created the base for others to ask questions to me if i would have uh, not been able to answer them satisfactorily other people might would have uh, had a bad impression about me so sir i consider so hr question i'll give them uh, sir 40% weightage uh, 40 to 45% weightage because they prepared the base for the interview on which the entire interview revolved sir i i and sir those questions sir now hr questions sir whichever asked to me sir already i have prepared them at my home what i used to do for my preparation uh, say sir i have uh, say some you have asked me i sir say a question is there introduce yourself so i wrote something about that okay these are the things that i'll be telling now sir i used to circulate that answer to my friends and used to ask them ask me counter questions from this so sir everyone used to come out with a good counter question so, sir i used to prepare for that counter question also so sir this thing used to give me a broad perspective to look towards things ki now sir the if a interview question is asked to me by the interviewer sir there are there were most likely chances ki the questions will be from what i have already prepared and sir this thing has happened with me during my new india interview also banks interview also and same happened during the nabad interview also because sir i have been following this interview strategy right when i have been right from when i have been preparing for for banks and insurance sector so this thing 
also i learned it from my job only ki how uh, you should get to know if you want to get to know about about yourself try to know it from others whatever you have prepared try give others a chance to analyze them and let them ask uh, questions because that is what is happening with us in the interview also hmm. nothing different is happening ki someone is there who will be asking questions to you based upon your answers only so why not let your friends ask questions to you based upon your answers you will get a broader perspective to look towards things so that's how i prepared for my interview and sir in any way sir i would uh, i would like to thank you guys also because you took my interview i think i i gave my three mock interview with you people two mock interviews were taken by manish sir and one mock interview was taken by some other sir i don't remember the name but i'll be thank- i'm thankful to you guys also and for to others also with whom i have given my mock interview because everyone is a uh, this thing reason for my success amazing yes yes you are right in saying that i think uh, you cannot succeed without getting whatever knowledge you can from whatever people are available out there so i think you've used it very well last question from my side what are the things we normally look at a job very negatively while pre- while we are preparing for these exams how much do you think has your job or jobs contributed towards your success various streams of successes finally culminating into nabard how and how much have they contributed to it so first thing though sir because as i was working to sir uh, i i got the but um, the right way how you should interact with people and so it was able to because i was a part of tcs later on i moved to new india also so sir the professionalism that a, one should have in his uh, personality sir i was able to learn it from there and sir it helped me improve my speaking skills also so that was very helpful uh, to me during the interview time then this is the next thing next thing that i got to, to learn is that how to uh, direct others uh, to get your work done because sir in new india assurance so i was working with a team and i was leading them so so i was able to uh, learn ki how you uh, will uh, what are the ways that you can adapt uh, to get things out done out of from others and sir any way sir if i am able to succeed because sir i got uh, good once the mains results were declared so sir my office in charge i was able to convince my office in charge to give me uh, say holidays for around 15 to 20 days, to give me leaves for 15 to 20 days and sir meanwhile what i promised him ki sir whenever a requirement will be there i'll be working from home and sir i he gave permission to me and sir i also uh, whenever the need used to arise i used to work from home because anyways i have promised somebody ki uh, if you are giving me leave i'll be whenever a need arises i'll be doing work from home and so meanwhile my assistant assistant who was working under me she also supported me a lot during that tenure she never took any leaves and all and even if she was not healthy she used to come to office because uh, i had uh, done something for her in the past and same she was also uh, giving it back to me so sir they are also a very my office people are also a very important reason for my success they are also one of the important people who were there behind my success apart from my friends and family members i think what you said is very very interesting because uh, you are probably the second or third person who has taken your job so positively i have had only a handful of people in the past and uh, the kind of approach that you have shown i think uh, it, it it talks a lot about your personality about your overall vision mm-hmm. in life wonderful wonderful i had an amazing time talking with you anything that you would like to mention to the students before we close the interview actually uh, so i would like to mention that ki there are uh, 100 reasons for uh, 100 excuses i would say for not doing anything but there is only one reason to uh, do something that is uh, that uh, you should have a dedication to reach towards your goal and if you are dedicated towards your goal nothing will be able to stop you from uh, from reaching that so that that i would say ki stay dedicated make your targets and never uh, try to whatever time you have if you have less time then you will have to manage in within that why waste time uh, trying to repent over things ki this has gone wrong for me this has gone wrong for me instead try to uh, uh, invest that time in uh, reading about uh, the examination so that you are able to succeed amazing wonderful 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 message i think i am very very sure all the students will benefit from from this as well thanks a lot divyanshu for being here for talking with me 
it was an amazing experience talking with you and i think you've made my day uh, so uh, all the best for your future i'm uh, very sure you're going to be a very big asset to navard as well thank you thank you take care bye bye bye